Hey, what's going on, guys? The Vizzle from Team Stand Draw here. Bring you guys a deck profile of my Tachikaze deck. Um, this is a different style of deck profile, so it's going to be using the app Card Fight Vanguard database. Uh, it's on the marketplace, uh, the app store for um, uh, Android devices. Sorry, I got my uh, words mixed up there. Um, if you have an Android device or an Android phone, uh, definitely download it. It shows you like all the cards from Japan. That's out in Japan and America. So whenever a new set drops, they'll update the app and with all the photos and the cards. And you can make like decks and you can't test play, but you know you can like put them all in the same space. See what you're working with right now. So um, I already have a Tachikaze deck uploaded with the physical cards, and just to um, just to put it out there, we're not. Uh, the, the team is not giving up on the physical card deck profiles. We're just trying out some new things. Tell us what you feel about uh, how you feel about this form of deck profiling. We're gonna do both anyway, so uh, just let us know how you feel. Um, but just to get into the deck, I guess uh, we're gonna start with the trigger lineup. The trigger lineup it's gonna stay the same. It's gonna be uh, eight crits. So you want to play the uh, of course the ancient dragon crit, which is putting soul on flip of damage. You want to play the um, the Gaia crit, which is putting the soul when you attack with a grade 3 or greater uh, Gaia card, get plus 5 and draw. And then last, you want to play 4 draw, which is the Margo clone, putting the soul, uh, give a Tachikaze unit plus 3000. And then the only change that you make to the trigger lineup when um, fighter selection, uh, you change it for the 4 heal. So I, I was contemplating if I want to play less of this heal, but Ultimately, when you want to G-Guard, you could G-Guard for another thing. You don't have to go for the main G-Guard that connects with this card. But, um, it's just good I, It's just good to have in general. So, um, that way you don't miss the certain G-Guard. So, you want to play four of the new card and his abilities. When you discard him for his evolved form, um, you, from G-Zone, uh, you pay a cost by pitching a grade one or less, and you draw a card. So, it's like a drop and draw. Uh, yeah, and then for the starter, of course, we play Baby Camara. We don't change that. Um, still, still, uh, there's not another grade a starter that you that I would want to play over Baby Camara. Count of Us one. Uh, when he's retired, do when he's retired during your turn and put into the drop zone. Search is there for grade one. Call to Guard and unit gets three k. So, uh, you definitely don't want to uh, miss out on that starter. It's a good ability. So. For grade ones, we're playing three freezer necks. I had dropped it down to uh, from four to three um, for the grade one, the new guy grade one. Um, freezer necks, on the other hand, it's still a good card. I'm still contemplating on what I really want to do with uh, you know with him. He's like uh, it's weird because guy can bring him back anyway, but to ha to have it at four is like you can never miss it. So there's that. Um, on to the new grade one that guy got, um, it comes out this month actually for tournaments, uh, so, you know, playing a tournament, you get him as a promo, win a tournament, you get an SP version of him, so, like, no text box, but, um, his ability is Engorge, Vanguard, Rearguard, um, he has Engorge ability, second ability, if this unit is Engorge, it gets 2,000 power, so he's a 9k, so, um, none of those skills are GB, so you can do it early game if you have the resources. And then his third ability is Soul Blast 1. When this unit is retired from Rear Guard, do, um, for the cost of your card, for your unit with Guy in the name, then um, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card. So it has to be retired due to Guy's ability. Like it can't be for like, another effect. Um, it has to be for Guy's and Gorge, I guess. Or if uh, you strode inside a Guy. But still good for the Soul Blast and draw. And then if you combo him with uh, old Gaia, you can call him back onto the field, and basically uh, you soul blast one and drew, and you got the you, st you kept the unit on board, so pretty good. Um, and of course you want to play four strife fighter and four of the unflipping perfect guard. Definitely don't want to change that. Uh, that's the one thing that's going to stay the same. Maybe you might want to drop the strife fighter the three since you are since I do play eight grade threes, but uh, that's something that I didn't want to change. On the grade twos. Grade twos didn't change too much. It still is as in the deck profile. Um, you want to play the beam dragon. He came out in technical booster. Uh, counter blast one, soul blast one. You have a guy vanguard and he's placed on rear guard circle. Um, 
this unit gets plus 2,000, and when it becomes engorged, draw a card, and it gets plus 5,000. So he's 16 by himself if you get the requirements off. Uh, kept, in, kept him in here. Don't really use the skill too often, don't get me uh, wrong, but when I do need to use him for the hand power, it's uh, it's definitely needed. Uh, Gigant Flame, I talked about him in my deck profile, but um, he's a, he's a good early uh, ride and also a good rear guard. Um, he's also another 16, another way to get 16, so definitely keep him in deck. The only thing is he can't attack unless you have a guy at Vanguard or a Gorge unit, so if you play him early game on Vanguard, you have to have another unit with a Gorge ability to become in Gorge for him to even attack, so just to uh, keep that out there. Sokka Blade, this is a staple in the deck. You can't be, you can't play Tachikaze. You can't play Guy at Tachikaze without Sokka Blaze because he's like the silent sound of the deck. It's like one of the things you just got to keep in there. Uh, Rushimo, uh, Rezmo, whatever his name is. Um, his ability, uh, he has Engorge, and then when this unit is Engorge and retired from Rearguard, you may pay the cost. Soul Blast 1 and call to an open Rearguard circle. So when he's retired, call him back. And then he has uh, the boost ability. Of course, he's a 7k grade 2, so that kind of hurts the deck if you ride it. But, you know, he's still a booster if you uh, can only call back one unit and you need him on board. And you have him on board, you can call back the a grade 2 with the 7k booster. There's, uh, there's that. And then last, I'm playing one Tank Mammoth. Tank Mammoth is... Uh, He's kind of a, he's somewhat of a staple, but I, I, I load him down to one. I had him at two at one point, and I, I did have him at like three at one point, but I load him down to one because it's kind of, he's not situational, but uh, it's just, I don't know, I, I kind of I kind of use uh, Erezmo over him on the fact that he has boost ability. I don't know why that's uh, something I, I do, but it's just something I do, but um, Tank Mammoth, uh, his, when he's retired from Rear Guard, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1 during your turn, and um, Call him back to rear guard, and until the end of the turn, he gets 3k. So he get, he attacks for 11. So he's not bad. Don't get me wrong, but I'm using a raise mode over him because usually when I'm retiring stuff, I'm retiring like my grade twos and uh, my grade twos or a grade three possibly, like Gaia. So to have a booster over another attacker is kind of something necessary. Um, of course, the grade three lineup did not change as well. I'm playing. Four of the old Gaia, four of the new Gaia. Mainly the new guy is just for the name. His skill's really not that good, in my opinion. It's uh, when he becomes engorged. When he becomes engorged, when a unit strides on top of him, and the stride unit, the G unit that strides on top of him has to be an engorged unit to get the skill off. Um, when he becomes engorged, count best one draw. It's really not that uh, good. I mean, if you get it off, it's a good draw, but really not as good as you would think it would be. I kind of expected more. Um, you're really going to use him for the rear guard ability, which is uh, when he becomes a gorge, he gets plus five. That's really what you're going to use him for, or, or pitch for stride. Um, and of course, uh, Gaia, That's this is the unit that you always want to stride into. Um, same thing as old new Gaia, um, but only difference is is new Gaia, when he becomes a gorge on rear guard or vanguard, so he gets plus five. Old guy is only on Vanguard Circle. He gets plus 5 in a crit. So. And then when you stride on top of him, counter blast 1, choose 2 units from your hand, call him to board, and choose 2 units on field, and they get the ability when they're retired from Rear Guard Circle and put into the drop zone, um, you can call them back. So you can do some pretty uh, the funny things with uh, him and Freezer Nix or uh, this new guy that came out. And, you know, you have multiple attacks. Onto the G zone. Of course, you can't play. You can't play Tachikaze without Dogma. I can. I can guarantee you have to play at least two or four of this card. So that's one thing. Um, he's a restander. In Gorge three, you get ten. In Gorge five, you get a restand. Lose one drive. Um, for the new cards, you're playing two of the new G guards. So I'm playing two because I noticed um, he has to flip up a G guard to be used. So uh, he flips up a G guard and when he's placed on uh, Guardian Circle, um, if he flips up a G guard, he gets plus 5,000 for each open rear guard circle. So kind of combos well with Dogma if you didn't finish him that turn. Uh, also kind of gives you incentive to retire uh, for board. It gives you incentive 
them to retire board. The only thing is, if you find Shadow Paladins, hopefully they don't Diablo you. But uh, I mean, I guess if you if you're playing uh, Shadows at this point, you play this G Guard. But um, the main thing about um, G Guardians is that if you have if you have um, three face up in G zone, then you can't use anymore. So it's kind of like you use one of him. You use uh, you use this G Guard. You flip up a G Guard. That's already two. You can either only use one of this guy, one more of this guy, and then that's it. Or you can use uh, Blocky Ganga. Granted, you can't use him anymore because there's only four G guards. But you know, it just seemed right to play the two. Um, and of course, Blocky Ganga kept in uh, his ability still pretty good and useful because he gives two units um, the ability to bounce back to him when they get retired. So I uh, kept him in deck, and plus it's 10k shield. Uh, still playing two of Grados, uh, Gigant, or Gigant. Um, still a good first turn stride. I'm probably not going to use him as much when GB8 comes out, because it's just like, kind of, you kind of want to rush to get to GB8 to finish your opponent. Hopefully they don't get there first. So, um, you know, you got to pick your moments. But, uh, he's still a good, great one. Um, he gets plus five for every unit he engorges, and if you engorge three or more, draw a card. Pretty good. Um... Still, still playing the one Tempest. Tempest is situational, but still useful. Uh, retires all rear guards from all fight fighters. Uh, gonna skip over the GB8 real quick just to talk about Dynas. Dynas, you gotta play at four. Um, he flips himself so that it helps you to get to GB8 for uh, faster. So, uh, just straightforward. I talked about him in my uh, deck profile. Go check out the video. Just, uh, just to put that out there. And um, for the GB8 unit. Um, his ability is Engorge, so, um, I don't know why they put Engorge, Vanguard Circle, Rearguard Circle on Dogma, but, um, he has Engorge, Vanguard Circle, uh, you're never gonna see him on Rearguard Circle, but, he has Engorge, uh, GB8, when your Rearguard is retired, choose up to one of your opponent's Rearguards, retire it, and then choose up to one of your Rearguards, until the end of the turn, that unit gets 10,000, and this unit gets 10,000. So, uh, you can do some pretty combo thing, uh, cheeky things with this card. Um, if you have uh, Tank Mammoth, and you're just constantly retiring that and calling it back, granted, you couldn't use Engorge multiple times, but, uh, you know, you, you I, I still say you can do some pretty funny things. Um, you can even do uh, Erase Mode, because... Erosmo has Engorge, Retire, you, so you put two on board, you know, Retire, Soul Blast, Call It Black, and, you know, power up some, um, power up the van, um, Vanguard to a point where you, your opponent can't guard it. Uh, the reason why I say that, uh, because, um, you would think that you can perfect guard it, but at GB8, when you have survived, if, if you survived two guy, um, Dogma Swings, and a swing from Dynast, it's kind of, it's most likely, it's least likely that your opponent will have a perfect guard. G guard is more likely, but it's just like, uh, you know, you got to power it up to a point. But, um, I mean, really, the thing is, can Tachikaze survive to that point? And I, that's one of my main things about it. I've seen a lot of people talking about it, about, you know, how good the GB2, uh, GB8 skills are. For some clans, it's really good, but it's uh, for the other clans, it's just like, can you get to that point, and can you survive long enough to get that to that point? Because if your opponent GB8 you first, some of these GB8s are really good. So I mean, if if someone gets to stride first and they they can get the GB8 first, you really have to survive in order to use yours and have the resources to use it effectively to finish your opponent. So you know, there's there's things you have to keep in mind with GB8. You know. Uh, that's really the uh, my my points of view. Um, definitely let me know you how, what you guys think about the deck profile and this new form of deck profile. So uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll see you guys.